Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. So if you've been around the channel for a while or maybe you've seen some social media posts, you'll you'll know that I I really, really like the Net Tool. And this is the newer version. And this is the version that's got the, uh, the rubberized outside. So I guess you could call this version two. But uh, they've updated the software. And with the new software, you can actually do packet captures and it saves it to a thumb drive. So we've got a thumb drive here that we are going to plug into the full size USB port that's on here. And we're going to capture a few packets and then uh, upload it to the service uh, that you're going to see in the blog article here. And then we, uh, we're just going to take a look at it. So we're not going to get real in depth, but now this is a fantastic new tool. You're in the field. You want to plug this in. You're on the phone with uh, the guy who's supporting the network, or the switches, the infrastructure, whatever. And you're like, hey, can you mirror this port? You plug in your net tool, now you're capturing packets on a mirrored port. It's awesome. I've also got a couple of these to give away. I already gave away two of them. One to uh, Charlie, who's taking care of our Discord channel. If you're not a member of the Discord channel, click the link down there. That'll take you over there. And then uh, somebody corrected me in a video a few weeks ago, and so I told him I'd send him a net tool. So that leaves me with two net tools to give away. One is going to go to a newsletter subscriber. So if you're not subscribed to the newsletter, go to h5llc.com down there, sign up for the newsletter. And then the other one will give away when I hit 20,000 subscribers on the channel, which shouldn't be too long. So that's awesome. So let's, let's get to it here. If you go over to the blog.nettool.io site, you can pull this article up. And you have to have the latest app and the, the newer version of firmware on your Nettool to do this. So real quick, what I'm going to do is we're going to hop over to my Android phone here. And I'm going to install the newest version of the Nettool application. So you can see it's installing now. And now I'm going to go ahead and open it. <coughs> Now, my net tool is is right here, so it it may it I don't think it's going to find anything. So what I got to do is I'm going to unplug I'm going to unplug the charging cable here. Uh, my net tools are always dying because I use them like literally almost every day, whether it's in the lab or or in the field. I'm always I always have a net tool on me. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy into my switch back there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring up my Wi-Fi and I am going to <clears throat> change my network and I'm going to connect to the Netool directly. So you can see it says it's connecting. So we'll let it connect and then we will go back to the Netool app and we'll see if it finds a net tool now that it's connected directly to it. We may have to go, we have to go back here. There we go. Okay, so it found it. So we'll go ahead and connect to it. Oh, and so the first step, huh, so I've been playing with this. So the first step that you're gonna see that's in the instructions is you're actually gonna click the uh, settings cog down there and you're gonna go to net, net tool mode. <coughs> And if you had just plugged it in, it is not going to be on the PCAP mode. So if, if uh, I was just getting into this, it would be on Switch Discovery, which is the default. And I would turn Switch Discovery off and turn PCAP, Capture to PCAP, on and I would hit Apply. Now the Net Tool is going to reboot and then we'll have to reconnect to the Wi-Fi of the net tool and it shouldn't take too long for the net tool to actually reboot we'll see uh, what we're connected to here and it looks like we're still connected to the net tool <clears throat> okay so now that it's rebooted it wants us to take our fat 32 formatted USB and put it in the full size USB port so we are going to do that. And that's done. And so now here in a second, there we go. Boom. It automatically recognized. And that's only a 32 meg uh, USB. We're on the cutting edge over here in the lab. Actually, I had that thing laying around. I think it used to be from an, 
uh, I don't even know what it was from, maybe a camera or something. But anyway, now we're going to go ahead and, and click Start. And so now the Net Tool is going to start collecting all of the, the packets that it sees on that switch port. So likely what it's going to be seeing right now, it's going to be seeing broadcast, maybe some multicast traffic, probably not any um, traffic directly to that port, you know, destined for the MAC address on there because, well, it's just the Net Tool and no other host and I'm not mirroring a port. Now, uh, later on, we'll mirror a port when we get into some of these labs that we're going to be doing with the new Edge router and some of our grand stream stuff. But you can see that the file size is incrementing here. So we've got almost 13 kilobytes worth of uh, data. Now we're at 13.57, 14.61. So you can see that it's incrementing. So it is receiving data. I've got a lot of crap plugged into the, the lab. I mean, it's a lab network. So we're probably seeing a lot of broadcast. So we're going to click Stop. And it is going to stop collecting data on the USB drive. And now you can see it's gone to start. So now I can go ahead and I can unplug this USB from the net tool. And it'll probably bark at us here in a second, but we are done. Yeah, so it wants us to, uh, to plug that in. So we're done with that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take... The USB drive, and we're going to plug it into the computer. Maybe. You always have to turn a USB drive like 20 times. So now what we're going to do, so now what we're going to do is we've got our file on here, and you can see where we've got this 18, 18 uh, KB PCAP file. If you look at this, they actually had, and I didn't know that this service existed um, because I usually use Wireshark, but there's actually an online, um, there's actually an online service that will allow you to look at PCAP files, and it is called, let's see here, they had a link to it, maybe they took the link down, let's see. Um, interesting, but I think it's called, hold on, let me get the name. Yeah, so it's cloudshark, cloudshark.org, cloudshark and it's, it's really, it's really cool. So, uh, what we can do is we can just drag and drop our files here, or we can select a file. So we'll go over to our, our drive and we'll select our PCAP file from today. And we're going to say done. And so if we double click now on this PCAP file, it is going to load and is going to show all of the traffic. And so this is just about like Wireshark. I haven't started, uh, you know, creating filters and things like that. I literally have used this service twice. The first time when I was working on this uh, last week before everybody in the house got, uh, got down with the flu. But... Um, and then today, just as you saw me do it. So it's really cool. So you can see, you know, there's some ARP traffic. And ARP is a device saying, hey, who has uh, this IP address? Tell this IP address. And you can see that there's a, something went to a ubiquity, and I'm not sure what this other device is here. But it could be a lot of things. So you can see all kinds of broadcast ARP. ARP traffic, we've got spanning tree traffic, we, it looks like we've got uh, TiVo happening there on the lab network, so that's pretty cool. But, I mean, this is just another tool that, that another feature that NetTool has given us to, to use with this awesome piece of hardware. So like I said, i got two of these I'm going to give away. One's going to go to a newsletter subscriber, so make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. And when we hit 20,000, which shouldn't be too long, maybe just a, a couple weeks here, we're going to give another one away on the channel. So stay tuned for that. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please uh, comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Go to our Discord channel down there. If you've got any questions, sign up for the newsletter. There's Amazon links down there. You can uh, 
buy a Netool on Amazon. You can't use the Willy How uh, code though unless you buy it from Netool.io. You save, I think, at least 10%. If you go over to nettool.io and use the code Willie Howe. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.